Hello everyone. I'm here with Game Dude. Hello, Game Dude. Hello. Hello? Hello? Hi. I just wanted to know if I could interview you. What's the point? I don't know. I mean, I already did Chris Boards and James, so I thought I might as well talk to you too. Alright. Let's just get this over with. Alright, let's start off with some quick questions. How would you improve a 7-Eleven? An option for them to speak English would have been nice. And why don't you like the reporters on Fox News? None of them have anything to do with foxes. If you were in a wrestling match with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, what would be going through your mind? That rock better not hit me. Did you know that Siegfried and Roy had an orgy with Barnum and Bailey? What a fucking circus. And did you also know that Chris Boers has really small balls? And they're barely attached to his body. Really? That's weird. Hey, didn't he fart in your house once? It still fucking smells. Yeah, well, that's to be expected. But it's still annoying. Yeah. Well, you want to hear something funny about him? One time I saw Chris Boers driving his bicycle down the street, and then he crashed into a dumpster, and he knocked all these boxes of garbage and trash all over the place, and then he just got up on his bicycle and pedaled away. Couldn't he at least pick them back up? No, he just left everything where it was. What a piece of shit. And did you know that he reviewed Back to the Future, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and The Odyssey right after James did it? What a shameful ripoff. Yeah, well then, what's the difference between something being a ripoff and something being a tribute? It's the same thing. Exactly. So that means you're a ripoff too. I know. But not only do you rip off James, but you actually steal ideas from Chris Boers. You rip them both off. It's twice the disgrace. I know. So then stop ripping them off. Excellent idea. And then people won't complain about you as much. Fucking genius. Plus, you even ripped me off. You use the same propeller cap graphic that I used in my Mega Man 2 review. That's bullshit! Oh, really? At this part in the game, there's these robots wearing propeller caps. This game is supposed to take place in the future, but propeller caps haven't been worn since the 1950s. Were the designers of this game even trying? So I heard that you used to keep sticking your dick into the jet holes in jacuzzis, but you haven't done it recently. How come? It keeps getting stuck. Yeah, well you're not supposed to stick your dick in there. Then why are they open? They're open so the air can come out to make bubbles. Uh... Well, anyway, um, what would you like for Christmas? Pieces of asses. Uh, alright. Well, just in case no one can get you pieces of asses, what else would you like? Nothing else! Well, you're probably not gonna get pieces of asses for Christmas. Alright, that's enough.